so hello friends here we will continue our example that we are discussing in our last video so what we are trying to do we are trying to do multiplication of minus 13 by 11 using both algo we have seen how to represent 30 minus by operands and then how to do the recording and all we have seen now proceed with the multiplication my multiplicand is minus 13 we have written 10011 then what is my multiplier recorded multiplier plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 0 minus 1 that we have written now I'll start the multiplication already i have shown you in the last video minus 1 then we will take the two's complement of my multiplicand that is plus 13 so we will write here plus 13 and then we need to extend the sign bit to make it of 10 bits because we are multiplying two 5 bit numbers then result will be of 10 bits due to that this after writing this 5 bits of my multiplicand another 5 bits we require that will be nothing but copy of the sign bit of your multiplicand so here my partial means uh, copy of the uh, sign bit of the partial product so here my partial product is this one in blue color so this sign bit is 0 so the brown color is representing the sign extension to make it of 10 bits next is multiplicand sorry multiplier bit is 0 so 0 into something will be 0 so we'll simply write the zeros right next you see plus 1 plus 1 means what directly i will take it directly i will take it but not uh, directly i will write this 1001 two times i need to do the shifting because it is at position 2 this is position 0 1 2 so 2 to the power 2 i am multiplying this thing by 2 to the power 2 that means these two zeros will be appended to the right of it. So here one zero, here one zero. Then I can write the multiplicand as it is. So we have written the zeros we are not writing here explicitly. Most important point here is after writing this multiplicand, we need to do the sign extension till the boundary of my result. So here three ones are coming. Here it will be one. It is not that always zeros are appended whatever is the sign bit of your partial product this is my partial product so whatever is the sign bit that i will extend that you need to remember next is what next is minus one minus one means plus 13 i will write so 0 1 1 0 1 is plus 13 it is also shifted so these positions are zeros and then two zeros to make it of 10 length 10 next last one is plus one so directly i will write it and I will do one bit of sign extension. So these are now ready for my addition process. The way we used to do in mathematics class, here also we will do that. So see, now we will do the addition. So see, this one will be what? 1. This one will be 0. Then 2 ones means what? It is 0 and there will be a carry of 1. Right? Because 1, 1 is what? 2. 2 means here it is 0, 1 is carry. So this one I have given to the next position. Now in the next position, 1, 1, 1 and this one. 4 ones are there. 4 ones means what? It is 4. 1, 0, 0. So I will write here 0. I will write here 0. And uh, that the carry will be here. Right? Not in the next position. So this next position directly 1. But in the next position, 3 ones are there. So it is 1. And 1 is carry. Again 1, 1 is carry. So 0, like this we will proceed. So see here, the result is coming. So this is 1, 0, 0. Like this, up to here I have shown you. What you need to remember, see whenever you are doing addition, if you are getting 4 ones, then it will be 1, 0, 0. So 0 will be the, at the position where you are doing the addition. To the next of next, you send this one, right? In generally, whenever we perform addition of binary numbers, my carry cannot be more than one. But here we are not adding only two bits. We are adding five bits. We are adding four bits together. Due to that, this type of carry is coming, right? So, and after doing the addition process, after the MSB, if there is a carry, that carry will be discarded in two's complement number system. So this brown color one, is not part of our result right so this blue color is representing our result in this blue color whatever we have got 
it is a positive or a negative quantity obviously it is a negative quantity how do i know because my sine bit is 1 so if it is a negative quantity what is the value value will be whatever is the two's complement of this part that two's complements decimal is the uh, result so negative and then whatever is the two's complement of my raised part that decimal is nothing but the answer right so here i have written the step so answer will be negative minus sign you have to write and two's complement of what this part so this part two's complement is I have written here so see two's complement of this is nothing but minus 143 so 13 into 11 will be 143 as one of the operand is negative so because of that the result was negative right so hope this booth's algo is clear this is very simple see only you need to understand the recording and then it simply write it the write the steps and see only one point you need to remember whenever i am doing sign extension if my sign bit is one these bits will be one one if my sign bit is zero then these bits will be zero that only you need to remember otherwise else this is a very simple algo then the next one more example i have done for you minus seven into minus eleven what is my first step represent the numbers in two's complement form using equal number of bits so see um what is plus seven? First, I'm writing plus seven. Seven is what? Three ones. Then zero for positive seven. But I know my another operand will require one more bit. It is in uh, sign two's complement form. So minus eleven will require five bits. Four bits for magnitude, one bit for the sign bit. So here I will also make it of five bits. And then what is the two's complement of it? That will be nothing but minus seven. So what is the two's complement of a number? You start reading the number from this side till you meet the first one. I always used to get it in the beginning. One. Then this is zero. This is zero. One, one. Flip the remaining bits. Right. So this is nothing but minus seven. It is also written here. Minus seven. Next is what is minus eleven? Plus eleven. Sometime back only we have seen what is plus eleven. So how to write minus eleven? You start reading from the this side. So this is 1 till I meet the first one. So I got the 1 and then 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 is nothing but minus 11. So we have written that. So see, if we have written that, then next we need to do the booth's recording. We need to do the recording of this multiplier. So when I start recording for the first bit, then I will assume 1, 0 to the right of it. So then I started looking like this 0 to 1, so it will be minus 1. 1 to 0, it will be plus 1. 0 to 1, it will be minus 1. 1 to 0 will be plus 1. Then 0 to 1, minus 1. So, this many operations I need to do. See here, I have already written minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. So, this is my recorded both multiplier. Now, we will do the multiplication the way we did some time back what is my multiplicand minus 7 so we have written minus 7 what is my multiplier this one is my multiplier you write it got it then next we'll start the process so minus 1 so what i will write two's complement of it and i will not do any symptoms. why because this minus 1 is at position 0 so what is the two's complement of minus 7 plus 7 so we will write the plus 7 here so plus 7 is written again the same concept uh, we need to get 10 bit results so five zeros are there as the sign extension to make it of length 10 bits done next is plus 1 plus 1 means i will directly take this 11001 and shifting it by one bit to the left so here one zero will be there so that zero we won't write we, what i will write this how only i will write and to make it of required length, I will make it all one one. Brown colors are representing my sign extension. While doing the numericals, please be careful while doing the sign extension. Do not put zero zero always. Whatever is the sign bit, that only you need to extend. Right? I used to tell this repeatedly. Then minus one. Next position is minus one. What I will take? Plus seven. Then 
it is three zeros. Then plus one, it is directly taking this. So I've directly taken and two bits are sign extension, right? Last one is minus one. So it is plus seven. So plus seven we have taken. So this far we have completed. Now what is left? The addition process. So when we do the addition process, see first bit will give me one. Then this two one will give me zero. One is carry. So three ones will give me one. And here one carry. So see here at the fourth position, one, 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 and this is zero. So it is three ones. So it is one and one is carry. Fifth position, one, 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 three ones. So one there. Then another carry. One, one, one. So this is also one. Right, I need to see something is wrong, right? The result is given. Maybe my alignment is not proper due to that. It is not properly coming. This is one is fine. This is zero. This one one is three one. So it is one. One is carry three one. So one one is there. This line is not proper actually. This position is one, two, three, four, four fourth position. No, one, two, three, four, fifth position actually. This is this zero is coming. So this is the position one one one, and there was one carry. So four ones, four ones means it is zero, and this carry will go to this position, this this one's position, right? So this is how you need to do, and whatever carries are there that I have not written, that part is discarded. So only this part we are interested. So here the carries I have not written, actually they are discarded, right? So the addition result is coming like this. So if the addition result is this, what is the uh, what is the magnitude of my resultant? Magnitude of my resultant is nothing but a positive quantity. How do I know? Because MSP is zero. See, whenever you are considering the sign of your resultant, do not take whatever is carry is there out of MSB addition. Whatever is the actual MSB, that is the sign of your resultant. So it is positive. What is the value? This is one, two, four, eight, and then eight, uh, eight, the 16, 32, 64. So 64 plus eight plus four plus one. It is nothing but uh, four, four, eight, 16, 17, seven, one carry, six plus one, seven, 77. So the answer is positive 77. So when I multiply two negative numbers, result will be positive. So it is not mandatory that whatever result you get, put the negative sign and then take the two's complement. It is applicable only when sign bit is one. But if the sign bit of resultant is zero, directly tell the decimal of the number binary bits as the resultant. So two examples we have seen. One is both the numbers are negative. Another is one of the number is negative. So hope by this, your concept on Booth's algorithm will become clear. And the another point, very important point, represent both the numbers using equal number of bits. And for the partial products, extend the sign bit. And the rest part is very simple that you can do. So hope this part is clear. Next, we will do another example of Booth's algo. There, we will follow the steps. Means in another way also, we can approach the algo. So that I will show you in my next video. Thank you.